Welcome to Tabata workout number 11. Today is going to be a lot of abs, so be ready to work your core. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We got eight core movements. We're going to cycle through four times for a total of 20 minutes. Make sure that you click right here to get warmed up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any workouts here on this platform. We got plenty of standalones, plus we got more series coming, so I want you to keep yourself updated. Let's get this show on the road. Starting out first, we're going to be doing a double crunch. So you're going to be on your back. We're going to bring both the knees and the elbows together. So we're crunching, and here we go. We're crunching knees and elbows together. Control that whole time. Belly button to the ground. You got this. Keep breathing. Get off to a good start. Like I said, it's going to be all abs today, so we're going to really fire them up. Good. Well done. Okay, the next movement, we got plank and reach. So we're going to roll over, forearm plank position. Eyes directly above your hands. Core is nice and tight. Spread your feet just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach and back down. Reach, back down. Try to keep those hips still as you're reaching. Good. Good reach. Good reach. Well done. Whew. Feels good. Okay, we got side plank with a crunch. Now we're going to go left side first. So you got short lever here or long lever. I'm going to go long lever and we're going to crunch. So nice and controlled, keeping those hips high. Great job. Get a good pace. It's not a race, but I do want you to add that crunch. Elbow to either your quad or your knee. Hips stay high. Well done. Okay. On our back, we're going to bring our left leg over our right. We're going to go elbow to opposite knee. Reaching up. Good crunch. Elbow to opposite knee on the crunch. Good. Control that movement. Get a good rotation as you do it. Hand can stay on your head. Right hand. Good. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to switch. We're going to go to the right side and we're going to do the crunch as well from the side plank. I'm going long lever versus short and we're crunching. Well done. Hips got to stay up. There's a lot of stability into this movement here. Good. Keep breathing. Keep those hips high. Good. Okay, we're going to go back on our back. We're going to take our right leg, and that right leg's going to cross the left. Left elbow is going to touch that knee. You got this. Got to work a couple different areas of that core. Your obliques, your transverse, your rectus abdominis. We're going to work the... The lower back as well is extremely important. Good. Okay. We got the hollow body hold. It's probably the most challenging one today. One knee bent. Arm is going to go up. Both arms over your head. If you want to make it more challenging, both legs are going to go out. Hands over your head. Belly button to the ground. If you want to have a knee bent, that's fine as well. Great work. Finish strong. Well done. Okay, and then the last movement, we're gonna do the Spider-Man Mountain Climber. So forearm plank position, another stability move here. Done this throughout this whole series. We're gonna go wide, working those obliques. Well done. Keep breathing, keep breathing. We're gonna grab a drink right after this, finish it strong. Good. Whew. Good start. One down. Three to go. Quick drink. And wipe any sweat that's going to begin to come down. It's going to be a nice one. As always, we've got plenty of workouts on this platform. Take this ab workout. Pair it with some other workouts. Uh, create your own program, which is definitely something that we want you to be doing here. Whew. Hope your day is going well. 
Make sure that you do something nice for someone else and that you eat well today. Carbs, healthy carbs, proteins, good fats, vegetables. It'll make your body feel good. You're going to nourish yourself in conjunction with this workout. Let's put it all together. Okay, starting out, we got the double crunch. You versus you. I'm here to help. Legs are going to go out. Here we go. And double crunch. Elbows and knees are going to come together. We're working the upper portion of the abs and the lower portion as well. Even though it is all one musculature, you can really activate and the upper and the lower. Good. Well done. Okay. We got the plank in the reach, forearm plank position. We're gonna get a good reach here. Hold on that plank, reach, keeping those hips, hips down. Well done, finish to the end. Good. Oh, I like that one. Definitely feel that. Anytime you add extension, you know, any of these plank movements, it's really gonna help engage, okay? Side plank, hips up, we're crunching. Come on. Good. Perfect crunch. You should feel both the lower portion of your obliques and then the upper on that crunch. We're gonna go left leg, crossing over that right knee. Right elbow is gonna reach up and touch that knee. Good. Good pace. Well done. Push yourself, keep breathing. Good. Switch to the other side, we got that right side. You're gonna find two, I've said this in other videos, one side's gonna be stronger than the other. So it might be a little bit easier doing a side plank with a crunch on one side, it could be your left side, or easier on your right side. It's kind of funny how the body works. Everyone's different, that's what's unique about it. That's what's great. Well done. Okay, back to the opposite knee and elbow. We're gonna go right legs crossing over that left knee. Left elbow here is gonna reach up and we're gonna touch. Good rotation. All the way to the end. Good. Whew. All right, we got the hollow body hold. This is the most challenging one of the day. One knee bent, hands up over your head, hanging out. Really push that belly button into the ground. Try to get those shoulders up and breathe. Looking up to the sky. It's really tough to engage, guys. This is the most challenging one. You got this. And then we're gonna finish with Spider-Man Mountain Climber, working those obliques. Hands directly underneath your eyes, spread those feet, and let's go. Nice and wide, and touch. Slight shift forward. Good job. Catch your breath. Today's workout is a lot of strength with stability. It's not so much getting your heart rate up. I want you to be aware of that. We're really focusing on engaging that midsection. This is definitely a workout that you can come back to um, you know, on a core day or on an ab day um, or pair it with any other workouts that you're doing on a daily basis. Hooey. Leave a comment.
below or on this platform and let me know what's the most challenging movement that we're doing today. Uh, I'd be curious. Um, I'm going to throw that movement into more workouts so we can continue to challenge you. Did you actually think I was going to take it away? No, 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 no. Let's just do a whole workout with just them, that movement. The top two are the top three most difficult ones. Okay, here we go. Double crunch on our back. And go. Crunching. Legs fully extend. And elbows to knees. Great job. Breathe. Well done. All right, we got the plank and reach. If you want to, just hold that plank position. This is totally fine right here. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. Just 20 seconds. You can hold this the whole time. If you want, you can add that reach. So we're just going to spread the feet a little bit. Reach, keeping those hips down and still. And back. Good. Or plank. Either one works. Good work. Okay, we got side plank. We're going to go left arm down, shoulder directly above that elbow. If you want to go short lever, here's what short lever looks like. Hips up. As you start to get tired, it's fine to go from the shortened position. As we extend or lengthen, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, which is fine as well. So either option works. Good. On your back. Left elbow, or excuse me, left knee, right elbow. And we're going to touch control. Let's do it. Good. Keep that belly button down. You're doing great. Well done. Okay. Short lever. We're going to start with that. Switching to the opposite side on that side plank. Knees bent. Hips up. And crunch. Let's do it. If not, we're going to go long lever. Legs out. And crunch. Got less than 10 seconds. Good. Good pace. Push yourself in this 20 seconds. Good. And on our back, we got the right leg crossing over that left knee, left elbow to that right knee. And up. Good. Keep breathing. Woo. Oh, well done. All right, hollow body hold, followed by the Spider-Man Mountain Climber. This was the most challenging one. Legs out, hands over your head. If you need to go hands up, that's fine. Hands over your head is going to make it harder. Try to keep that belly button to the ground. When you bring that knee in, it allows you to do that a little bit better than having any room coming out from under your lower back. Well done. Whew, that's a tough one. All right. And now we got Spider-Man Mountain Climber. We'll grab a drink. You're doing a great job today. Keep pushing. And go. Good shift forward. Well done. Grab a quick drink. This is a tough one today. It's kind of a deceptive workout. Where when you look at it, it doesn't seem too hard, but man, it can fire up those mid those midsection of that abs. Can't even talk. That's how tough this workout is. Good job. Quick drink. We got one more to go. Before I let you go, as always, you know, after this round, 
Thank you for doing this with me. You're allowing me 20 minutes of your day. It's all that I ask. It means a lot uh, to know that you are rocking this out with me. There's going to be a lot more on this platform. Be on the lookout. Okay, double crunch. This is it. No turning back now. All right. We got five seconds. Here we go. Legs out and crunch. Almost done, almost done. You got this, you got this. You're with me. Good work. All right, we got the plank and reach. Here we go, plank position. If you wanna hang out here, totally fine. If not, we're reaching. Keeping those hips down, spread your feet. Good work. And reach. Well done. That's a tough one as well. So, side plank. Short lever or long lever. I'm going long lever here. Hips are gonna go up and we're gonna get a crunch. Let's go. Well done. Great work. Okay, left elbow over the right knee, left knee over the right elbow. Oh, it's been a long day. And go. When you're breathing heavy, you lose oxygen to the brain. <laughs> Sometimes you can't speak properly. Good work. Well done, switching to the other side. We got that long lever, plank, side plank hold crunch. Hips stay nice and high. Imaginary strings pulling you up and crunch. Good. There is truth though to finishing a workout and feeling good. It releases those endorphins and you feel great after a workout. That's the goal here, gang. Right leg over that left, left elbow to that right knee. Good crunch. Good work, we're pushing. Keep breathing, good crunch. Whew, well done. All right. I hate this one, the hollow body hold. <laughs> Let's go. Both legs out. Hands over your head. Belly button to the ground. Come on, stay to the ground. Knee bend. Come on, you got this. You got this. Stay with me. Don't drop those feet at all. Come on. Come on. Tuck that chin. Finish. Done. Whew. I that, despise that one. That'll be in plenty more workouts. Don't worry. This is it. Spider-Man, forearm plank position, and go. Finish this strong, you and me. Let's do this together. You got less than 10. Come on, come on. Woo. Give yourself a pat on the back. Workout 11 in the books. Well done. We got one more to finish up this series. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of these uh, videos here. And um, I don't know. I just love you. Thank you for your support. Have a good rest of the day.